Howdy friends and neighbors, Wayne here at the Heart of Texas RV Show here in Belton, Texas. We're going to take a look at all the new stuff in 2024, so come along with me. Okay, is this too good to be true? Let's take a look inside and find out. All right, pretty roomy here. The three butter stove, big sink, big old sink, and you have some seats on the sofa here. I think, yeah, these uh, this falls down to a bed here, and you got about a maybe a small queen size bed right over here with plenty of storage right there. Okay, got a curtain right there you can draw back for privacy, and you got some bunks right over here. I apologize for the lighting. It's not too good in here. Take a look at the bath. Okay. Full size bath. With a shower. And a sink. Inside the bath. And a full size fridge here. Pretty good size fridge. So yeah, I would think this is worth $20,000. Yeah, of course, I was just joking there. It's definitely worth $20,000. Uh, but what quality is it? So, that, not sure. Okay, here's another travel trailer. The Kodiak 302 BHSL. Pretty good size, two axle. Let's take a look at it. Oh, nice and roomy here. Ooh, nice and roomy. Slide out right over here. Little, I guess, yeah, those are recliner seats. Pick up your TV right over there. Big kitchen table here. I'm sure this all goes down and where well, you can make it into a bed. To go to the kitchen, huge kitchen sink. And a three burner stove with a microwave and a very large fridge. Also, we have the uh, electric fireplace right here. That's nice. And you mount your TV right up here. All right, look in the bedroom. Oh, we have a bath right here. Okay, so, hmm. Not sure I'm too crazy about this. You have to go through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. I'm not a big fan of that. Okay, pretty good sized bedroom, but you got to go through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. Yeah, not a fan of that. That's, uh, they could have designed that better. Let's take a look at some Class C's over here. We got the Freelander 23 FSF. Right now, about $100,000. Let's take a look inside. Okay. Ford engine in it with a nice TV right there as you come in. That's nice. And of course, a loft bed at the top. Pretty good size kitchen table and seats. Big sink. I've seen a lot of bigger sinks in units nowadays. Uh, that's a good thing. Uh, mine, of course, still has a pretty small sink in it, but I, I'm seeing more of this rectangular uh, basin here, seat basin, and so that's good. Convention microwave oven right there and three burner stove. Alright, very nice here. Bathroom right over there, pretty good sized bathroom with a sink. Very nice. Full size fridge of course. And a good bed. It's over here on the side. That's a, I, I kind of like this because now I have room to walk and get in my bed. This is nice. The only thing with this is it's hard to make up a bed when you have this right here. So my, uh, my travel trailer is like that too. It's just hard to get on the side of the bed uh, to make up the bed. It's, 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 it's tough. But I like this. They got the bed offset to the right here so you can walk in 
and basically just get in your bed like this. Yeah, I like that. I like that design. We haven't done much on Class A's over here, but let's uh, just take a look at this one here. Winnebago's, oh, I'm sorry, this, yeah, Winnebago Sunstar 33K, 160, okay, it's kind of a small Class A unit, let's take a look inside, I like the outdoor TV there, that's pretty cool, alrighty, in a Ford engine in it. It's called the Sunstar. And is this, yeah, this is a bed right here, loft bed, a bed that comes down here. I like that. You got the little pockets there, storage for the bed. Reclining seats right over here with a TV and a kitchen table here so you can watch TV at the kitchen table. Or at their recliners. Nice, good sized kitchen. We have a double sink here. That's good. I like that. Double sink. Microwave convection oven and a three burner stove with an oven, small oven here. Fridge. And we have plenty of storage right over here. Very nice. Very nice. Bathroom, take a look at that. Okay, oh, this is just a, a toilet and a sink. Where is the shower? I guess we'll find, oh, oh, okay, I see. This is kind of like a half bath. This has one bath and a half. The other bath is over there. We'll take a look at it. But this is kind of like a half bath. Uh, so you have the toilet and the sink, but no shower or bath. Okay. Nice good sized bedroom here. Privacy door. Very nice. A TV and plenty. Oh my goodness. Tons of storage here. That's pretty cool. Okay, TV. And here's the master bath right here. Okay. You got the toilet right over there with a little small sink. But the shower door, shower, is a pretty good shower. Pretty good size shower. In fact, that's one of the bigger ones I've seen in an RV. Great size shower. All right, looking great. There's the door there. All righty. Looks good. All righty. Yeah, I believe it's a 140 for this one. Okay. You got the cash up front. Might want to look at it. I don't have that kind of cash to spend, so uh, quite a bit above my price range. Uh, let's take a look at fifth wheels. We hadn't seen any fifth wheels yet. We got a Crusader here. Crusader 335 RLP for sixty thousand. Let's take a look inside. Nice outdoor storage. I like that. Let's see, what we got here. All right, very nice. See about what we say about fifty thousand here. What was this? No, sixty thousand. Okay, sixty thousand dollars. Okay, if I'm going to spend that kind of money, this and I had to, of course, the tow vehicle to tow it. I would look at something like this. Uh, one of my previous videos at a previous RV show, show in uh, Austin, a company wanted eighty-five thousand dollars. For a little 18 foot travel trailer which to me was obscene if i'm going to spend the money that kind of money i'm going to get a fifth wheel or a pull behind uh like this don't waste your money on something like a little 18 foot travel trailer for 85,000. that you you will regret it it looks really nice here We've got two big couches here two recliners uh, sorry, one big couch that folds out to a bed two reclining seats i like that Looking toward a huge, pretty good sized TV here with a electric fireplace and plenty of storage up here and up here. Okay. Holy cow, a big microwave oven here. 
That is a huge microwave oven for an RV. Of course, three butter stove and an oven. And you got this island here with a pretty good size sink here, really big sink. Plenty of storage here and here. And of course, the table is right here, right over here. You got two separate chairs along with the bench seat right over here. That's kind of interesting they did that instead of putting another bench seat on this side. But no, I like it. It'll work. Then right over here, full size fridge on side by side. Holy cow. That is a big size fridge. And a little cupboard here. What is this? Is it the cupboard? Oh, yeah, a little cupboard here. Walk in cupboard. Check it out. You don't see a walk in cupboard in too many RVs today. But wow. That's pretty impressive. Of course, little. I guess this is. I'm not sure what this is. You could put here. But you get some storage here and storage here. Let's go up here to the stairs and we see the bathroom here with a small sink, toilet, storage on the side here, medicine cabinet here, and a pretty good, pretty good shower, typical of most uh, units of the size. Very nice. The bedroom, very good sized bedroom. Again, let me see, I apologize for the lights. Let me make it some light in here. I don't think so. But yeah. Very nice bedroom. Queen size bed. Good size queen size bed. You can see you got some space on the side here to walk through. And some space on the other side to walk through here. So that's good. Plenty of storage. That's almost, again, that's walk-in storage. Holy cow, a lot of walk-in storage. You just don't see that in, in uh, fifth wheels or any travel trailer. Oh, here it is right here. Oh, it's a walk-in closet. Check this out. You can go around here and you're in your bed. Interesting. Oh, washer and dryer hookup. So if you want to put a washer and dryer in here. Pretty amazing. You know what? This is a lot. You get a lot of value here for $60,000. That's really a good price for this. And again, if I was going to spend that kind of money... I'd want something like this with room, space, full-size kitchen, uh, you know, plenty of living room space and a table here. I don't don't skip on a stupid 18-foot trailer for $85,000. And I have a link to that video in the description. You, you, you will not believe your eyes when you see it. Uh, we got another fifth wheeler right here. The Sprinter, but it's a 2023. Last year's model, and you just could get a pretty good price on this. $56,000 for 2023. I mean, I'd consider it if I was in the market for a fifth wheel. Alrighty. Slide out over here with a kitchen table and two, sorry, four standalone chairs. Island, kitchen island with a microwave, pretty small microwave. That's the same microwave I have in my little bitty 22 foot travel trailer. I think it could have done better on the microwave here, a little bit bigger. Three butter stove with an oven. Okay, yeah, they kind of script on the microwave. Okay, refrigerator and freezer, and a great size TV here with a sound bar. Woo! And a electric fireplace with storage up here, and you have two reclining seats, theater seats that look toward the TV set. I like it kind of a diagonal here, kind of the diagonal look with the TV. If I'm sitting right here. I'm looking straight at the TV. Uh, so I'm sorry, looking straight at the refrigerator, but I turn here to look at the TV. I'm not a big fan of that because you should be looking straight ahead when you watch your TV in theater seats, not to the right. So yeah, that I could I could do without. I like the LED lighting underneath the island here. That's pretty cool. Got plenty of storage here and another workspace area here, either like a slash home office to you know do your work or uh, another. Uh, kitchen cabinet to use look at the bedroom here bedroom oh we got a full-size bed right here at the bottom with storage right over here the door and get this a loft that goes up to bed right up here very nice very nice 
with another door right at here with a half bath with a half bath and so yeah you can come in here change yeah I like it oh let's look at the other bedroom this is a two bedroom fifth wheel that's impressive this is the master bath a master yeah, master bathroom and bedroom very small sink with plenty of storage here in the toilet and the shower let's see here little small for my taste I would expect a bigger shower in a fifth world of this size but I like the bench there you can sit down and take while you take a shower that's nice but I would expect a little bit bigger shower I guess you have to make it smaller because of the storage you have right here so something's got to get here and you have the bedroom very nice bedroom plenty of storage to the left and up higher and to the side you got nightstands on the side I like it I like it a lot very nice here's another thing about this you have an outdoor little kitchen right here with a refrigerator pretty cool oh check out this little toy hauler that's pretty cool check out this grand design toy hauler the 2024 momentum 22 av 32 grand all righty go inside check it out holy moly yes bed here it's kind of a murphy bed comes down bathroom pretty good size bathroom for a unit this size refrigerator oh i like this check out the swivel chairs the swivel chairs and a kitchen three butter stove oven big sink plenty of storage space up here and another okay the bed comes down here's a bed here it comes down but you got a bench theater seats here so where does the TV oh TV goes right there TV back on location okay there's the connection right over here okay so you gotta supply your own TV set put a mounting bracket on it right there and hook up over here okay that's what you gotta do okay but okay all right and this comes down with a toy hauler here and you got a little patio out here pretty amazing little patio okay so what's cool I guess these swivel seats right here either come up either come down or this bench seat comes down if you have like an ATV or golf cart you're trying to haul in the toy hauler this all comes apart and it you just basically store it where the seat is at that's what I'm guessing here interesting design but I like the idea you could use it, this comes down of course all toy haulers and you bring it down and you got a patio right here an outdoor patio that's pretty cool if you're looking for a single axle, ax, I'm sorry I'm trying to get hmm. if you're looking for a single axle unit check out the bullet crossfire by Keystone this is the 1900 RD for $20,000 a great little starter unit here let's take a look inside nice bed here again this would be pretty hard to to make up your bed here because you got this to deal with and this and this but that that's okay you know I don't know I'm a claustrophobic guy I don't know if I could sleep in this between that I mean ours has the same design with the uh, front of the RV being right here and I cannot sleep on this side because I, and we, and we have a unit you know we have a uh, cabinet right above it. it's the same design but I cannot sleep on this side against the wall because I get claustrophobic. I have to sleep on the outside here. And so my wife gives me a hard time about it. This would be even worse because my head would be right here against this wall and, and this. And so, but I have this window here. So I don't know. I get claustrophobic pretty easily. So not sure if I can sleep on that. But you got plenty of storage right here. Three butter stove. No, I'm sorry, two butter stove, my bad. Two butter stove 
which is what you'll see in units this size. This size microwave. Very big sink here. See, I'm telling you, they're making the sinks bigger now. Okay, mine's probably about maybe two thirds of the size. So they're making the sinks bigger. Cabinetry up there with the TV right here. And a good size eating table and eating, uh, eating area here. Really good size. Good size fridge. Plenty of storage over here. And here with a, holy cow, it's a big old window. Man, you got a big window there. One on the side, side over here. So, yeah. 20000 I consider it. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Nice big walk-in shower here. That's about the size of ours we have. Little sink and a toilet. Yeah, yeah, not, not, not bad. Not bad. Okay, a little outdoor storage right there. Underneath there, plenty of storage over there. An awning. Let's see what else we got here in the back. This is a pretty good size single axle unit. What kind of storage we have on the other side? Yeah, big storage. Ah, small storage over here. Boy, that's some small storage. Can't put much back there. And of course, all your connections here. Hot water heater. City water connection, fresh water connection, electrical, that type of stuff. Yeah, not too much on, not too bitch on um, an outdoor storage area. Kind of disappointed in that. Yeah, one of the RV reps over there was asking me if I have a business card, and I don't, and I need to get some. I'm, I'm losing out on some opportunity here, I'm afraid. Uh, it's just so easy to get our business card, so I get back to the house this week, I got to get some. Something I want to show you here. Sell price of this unit, it's a big fifth wheel here, okay? $70,000, monthly payment, if you went that route, $527. Now you may think, oh yeah, I can afford $527 a month, not a problem. But take a look at this. Look at the fine print here, folks. If you could read that. Monthly payment based on 10% down plus tax, okay, about $7,000. Travel and license. 8%, 7.99%, get this, 240 months. Okay, folks, do the math on that. 240 months. That is 20 years of payments, $527. Never, ever, ever finance an RV at 20 years. Huge mistake. Your, tip, your typical RV lasts 10 years tops and you go the 20 year route your units gonna be worth less than what you're making payments on so never ever do yet do that I always tell people 10 years max if you could do five or seven even better even 10 years in my opinion is pushing it because uh, it's just crazy people will finance these things at 20 years and they don't last but 10 years is your typical life of your RV. So, again, I highly, advance, I highly advise against financing really anything except a house for 20 years. You just, you just don't do it. I am amazed at how close they pack these units together. I mean, this is just amazing. I mean, they have such limited space here. I mean, look how close this is. Holy moly. I mean, that's the precision right there. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's crazy how they pack them so close together in such small area here. Uh, that's, that's, I couldn't do it. I mean, we were at the Austin Convention Center. Uh, those things were packed tightly because it's an indoor uh, facility. And uh, there's got to be some planning taking place before they even attempt this. It's, it's pretty crazy. Well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a small show, but a fun show. Uh, that was pretty cool. Only about a half hour drive from my house, so not too bad. But uh, that was fun and didn't see any crazy stuff like a $85,000 18-foot travel trailer or any crap like that. Yeah, I have a link to that video in the description. You won't believe your eyes. Check it out. $85,000 for an 18-foot travel trailer. 
just just insane. So, uh, oh well. Hey, thanks for watching. Appreciate you and appreciate all the support you have given us. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe. You will see more content like this. And so we try to put out a video about once a week, uh, usually on Sunday mornings. We upload a video. And uh, so check us out. Again, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the other end.